Mark in Michigan City, you're on the score. Hey, guys. Thanks Thanks for getting me on real quick. Uh, one thing you mentioned about Saban Metrics and Hawk Harrelson, he had a short stint as the general manager in 86. Look, uh, yeah, Hawk was the one thing you can always say about Hawk as a general manager. Bad. Awful is the word I would use. I would use awful. <laughs> Everything was bad. And that's where we first got in a little war because he didn't like that column. What was your column? That he didn't know it's, what he's doing? Yeah, it sucks. And, get, and please, move on. From the moment he took the job, he, when he yeah. decided that he was going to put Carlton Fisk in left field and move the fences back. And the lot, based on nothing, based on just a My hunch. head hurts when he got done. <laughs> that, that, he said, that, that he said our thumpers can hit it out of anywhere, meaning yeah. that he thought other teams – weren't able to hit They also the hired the Art Thumpers uh, <laughs> to, to come in tra- to trade for him. Oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, my, you know, I'll tell oh you something. It, it, seriously, I, I don't know if even if Hawk was running a team now. And uh, God only knows I don't think that's ever going to happen. But even if you were running a team, I don't know if he would even embrace this. And you have to – if you can't embrace it, what you do is you hire what, – what the smart guys do, you got, you got somebody sitting there that can embrace it for you. You still have to make decisions, still have to make plenty of decisions. And I don't know if, if actually looking at numbers would have changed his mind on stuff because he was certain those were right. Everything he did, he was certain he was right. That's one thing about Hawk. Always sure this is the right thing. Boy, that was... Oh. There have been firings in this town where you go, ah, you know, okay, that's, that's about... But this one was like a mercy killing. <laughs> mercy. <laughs> mercy. Mercy. Yep, oh, was, my God. I don't think people realize how ridiculous it was. It wasn't just bad. Big hat. It was... The entire thing was yeah. ridiculous. Yeah, big hat, no cattle. It was... Uh, Carlton Fisk didn't want to play left field. No. Couldn't play left field. Nope. And hated it. Mm-hmm. And we never quite figured out what was going on or why. And no. the, the, the deals and the acquisition of Wayne Tolleson. And, yeah. I, uh, I, he's a good little baseball player. He's got that good face. Yeah. He wants to win a game for you. Well, maybe that's what it was. He couldn't. He wanted to win a game for you. Yeah. He just couldn't. You know, maybe that's what it was. Maybe it was just judging by face. Because, uh, that I, you know, I didn't know that at the time. I wish I would have. I would have read about you judging by face. But, you know, there have been a lot of... General managers in this town over the years, I'm sure, were pretty bad. If I looked at them closely, I tried not to think of the bad ones. But um, for that brief thing, it wasn't that long a time. It seems like it was forever. It was forever ago, but he mm-hmm. wasn't in the job very long. The 86 Chicago White Sox were 72 and 90. Mm-hmm. And their regular lineup was Carlton Fisk, where they have him listed as a catcher. <laughs> it was a bad year for Carlton Fisk. And he also didn't, didn't Hawk Ooh. also fire Tony? Yes. Okay. Uh, Greg Walker had a decent season. Mm-hmm. Julio Cruz at second. Ozzie Guillen. Tim Hewlett at third. Really bad. That's bad. Yeah. On base percentage of two sixty. You don't want Tim Hewlett. Anywhere. Bobby Benilla was the left fielder. John Cangelosi was in center. Yeah, you do. He used to stop by the old studio yep. on Belmont. Mm-hmm. Didn't need a very big seat. You just put him on a just got to stand there. Well, as long as his, as long as his wife was with him, it's all good. Yeah. Harold Baines I can't talk. I can't address in that. right, mm-hmm. and Ron Kittle the DH. This team just sucked. Yeah, this is you remember just uh, three years removed from a uh, really a remarkably good season and I, a season <laughs> where they, but that's three years removed. That's how fast things move. Out of fourteen American League teams, they were last in on base percentage. I mean, you know what though? Planned. Really? Yeah. They were also last in slugging percentage. Also <laughs> so, planned. So that, that worked out you, extremely You were lulling well them into them. a false sense of security <laughs> last the minute in, they came in. Last in home runs. Planned. Last in runs. Planned. Last in hits. Part of the plan. Last in doubles. <laughs> Not as much a part of the plan. <laughs> last, just, in, just... last in batting average, on base percentage, and slugging percentage. And guess what? Last in OPS. Funny how that happens. Yeah. Well, anyway, but you know what? Sabermetrics suck. But I, again, that wasn't, you know, nobody would have known what he was talking about then. That was just doing it by, I'm not really sure. I don't think anybody who covered him. And, you know, Hawk was a fine guy to cover. It wasn't like he was a bad guy. It wasn't that. Uh, but I don't think anybody could figure out exactly what the hell he was doing. Nobody knew what he was doing. Nobody knew why he was doing it. And he did, he does have the, he, he Fired Tony La Russa to hire Jim Fergosi, as I recall. Mm-hmm. Another guy who apparently, well, you know. The, the, in, in between the two, you had Doug Rader. Oh, 
Oh God, yeah. Then he the went, rooster. Yeah, the rooster. <laughs> I remember the rooster when he took that job. Yeah, I always I spent went down and spent time with the rooster. That's quite an experience to spend time with with him. <laughs> yeah, that was quite an experience. Yeah. I mean, there wasn't a word you could – if you had to make up stuff or at least try to get a gist of what he was saying because he was like every other word was yeah, not but, usable. But then he hired – and Jim Fregosi is one of those managers of the era that for some reason, I don't know why because he was a little heavier than his playing days, always wanted to be naked. Those were the days when that was the heyday of naked managers mm-hmm. running around. And I mean, he was actually running around the field naked. <laughs> 